Purnamaste. Purnamaste and everybody welcome. Welcome to the art of the world and I am from the heart for you. Uh, no electricity, you know, and this is like, okay, okay. I want to finish my lunch. I cannot finish my lunch. My grain is half cooked. I cannot blend my vegetables. I cannot do so. I'm very negative because I'm very hungry. Because I've been on the road and like this. I cannot write anything and like this. If I write on phone, I only start writing and then I, it's like... Then I would have to write three hours what I use half an hour on the phone, on the computer. So I'm gonna do this video for you, you know? And in this video, we will speak about here more light. Here more light. That's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. In this video, we will speak about negativity and fake negativity. You know, this movement in the world that they are saying, always be positive, only positive vibes. You have to be positive always. You have to be positive always. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not what any one ever approved. Even Jesus took out the whip, which was very negative, and said many negative things. Masters must be very negative. To say no to the unconscious shadow that is brought in front of us. We are very negative. As in the Vedas it is written, you are that I am, but that I am neti neti. It is not that and it is not that. It is not that, it is not that. Through negativity, you get your power back. Because you say no to everything what is not you. What does not feel right to you. And you are being truthful and sincere to how you feel, to yourself and others. You are being the truth. You are not deceiving yourself that you feel when you feel negative. It doesn't feel right to you, but you people please and pretend to be positive. But you are truthfully and sincerely negative. You say to people, I'm sorry, but I don't have time for this. I don't have will for this. And this just doesn't feel right to me in my energy. I just don't want to do this. I don't want you to do this or whatever. This is, and you see what you're saying. You're being negative and you are saying... This is who I am. This is who I am. When I say no, don't comment here in everything. Allow yourself the silence of the mind and get the answer within. I don't have it revealed in your being. I'm telling you no to what is casual and normal on Facebook. Well, I actually like comments. When I see comments on a Ralph Smart video and like this, I see so many beautiful comments that actually I love. Comments of gratitude and... But you see, I'm telling you who I am. I am a Zen master. And Zen master speaks the word but teaches you nothing just want to activate the answer within you and your mind wants to comment to be in control to know but feel the word that i am allow the silence of the mind let the answer be revealed within you i'm very negative i'm very negative if i would you see how i'm going to the edge to the extreme if I would not say that kind of things to people, like the, my friend asked me today on Facebook, where are you? I said, here and now, where else? And I would not be a Zen master. I would act like everyone else. And I act like Zen master, and Zen master 
always stops your mind and it's very negative enlightenment is union of positivity and negativity you see you bring your unconscious to consciousness your ego is negative does not anymore blame you does not anymore attack other and is negative to you and others but it's integrated within you and when others are negative to you and do to you what doesn't feel right to you you say no to them you reject it and you're truthful and sincere what doesn't doesn't feel right to you you express it you're being negative and because you're being negative, you reject what doesn't feel right to you, you get yourself back. And then you can only e express your truth and be your truth with no guilt and fear. Now I tell you, this fake negativity movement, this fake negativity movement is actually the recipe Fake positivity, I have to be always positive, they have to be always positive, is actually the most profound recipe for always remaining your unconscious shadow, to remain unconscious. You're always negative. You're pretending that you're positive. I see, now I was at the Bioenergy Park, here, 20 miles away, and there was one lady, and we really dived deep, and we were speaking about vaccines, and we even went to Adrenochrome, and we were speaking, politicians drinking blood, and like this, we were being very negative, very negative, very negative, very negative, but before that, I started speaking that, one woman came, you know, and she didn't even know that lady that was speaking to me, and I'm a teacher. And she told her, you cannot sit like this. You have to sit like this, that energy flows. What the fuck? And then I start being very negative. I start speaking very negative things about vaccines, what is within them. And about also about adrenochrome and which politicians in Slovenia are taking it. And like this. And that lady that came and wanted to school that lady that she didn't even know who she is. She stood up and she left. And that lady immediately told me. The lady immediately told me. Watch out for fake spiritualists. For quasi-spiritualists. She told me this woman, she is... Faking, she has to be always positive, always positive, always positive. That's why she left. And you see how unconscious she was of her own negativity. Schooling somebody. I mean, if you come and comment on my class, on my post, or in this video, I have a right to school you, because whatever you brought to me, with your mind, if you are unconscious of it, I will bring it out. I'm not coming to school you on your page, I'm not coming to... I'm just teaching here, and if nobody says nothing, I say nothing. But she came to school, that lady, and that's very negative, to control and teach and school her, blame her that she's not good enough, that she has to be like others, that she has to do right, and it's really negative, you're bad, you don't know how to sit. Come on, lady, she is in a park speaking with a beautiful man that she met first time. What the fuck who you think that you are? Huh? A teacher or something. You don't know even her. And I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. It's very negative, you see. She left before I could tell her that. And the lady that was speaking to me, actually, 
We were speaking also about whether COVID-19 is harmless flu. And if you are vaccinated, then it becomes dangerous. And if you're old, then she said, you're correct. My father, 90 years old, and he didn't get the vaccine. He didn't have no symptoms, but he had COVID. And he is, and his roommate, 70 years old, died of COVID, vaccinated. Vaccine is a killer. COVID is not. It's harmless flu. And we were speaking this, and this lady, she thought, this is very negative. This is very negative. And I start adrenochrome, and she immediately left. I showed her the negativity. Oh, how negative I can be. And that beautiful lady, she actually really connected with me deeply. Why? Because she saw I have no guilt being negative. And what, and the beautiful thing she actually told me, she told me very, very profound thing. I told her, these people who are faking that they are always positive, they are always negative to others and themselves, they are truthful and sincere, not to themselves and not to others, they are lying and deceiving others. And they never bring their unconscious shadow to consciousness. They never bring, listen, they never bring, never, their fear, their guilt, their control, their resistance, their jealousy, their blame, their greed, they never bring to consciousness. And like that lady told me, lady told me, she told me something very profound, she said, they never can, because it is negative, and they don't, should not be negative, whoa, whoa, bravo goddess, I could not say. never bring their unconscious to consciousness because it is negative and they should not be negative huh what the fuck I don't give a fuck I can I'm negative I am negative Something doesn't feel right to me. I say, what the fuck you boy, what the fuck you doing here, go clean toilet. What the fuck you projecting your mind here, you only thinking and try to control and you are just running your mind everywhere, everywhere you go, just shut the fuck up. That's very negative and they can say, why master, you're so negative, you're not master teacher, you're so negative. You're an ego, you're so negative. What the fuck you want? I block you and I block you if you blame me. I'm not being negative. Now listen. I'm being negative. I'm being truthful and sincere to myself and others. Whatever doesn't feel right to me is negative within me. And if I allow others to do it, I will keep it in. I will keep it in. And pretend to be positive, polite to pretend, but lying and deceiving people, lying and deceiving people, totally hating inside what they're doing, but allowing them to do and smiling, I love it, I love it, what you do, yes, very nice, inside, the top, fuck, get the fuck out of here, stop doing that, I'll fucking kill you, and you see a ring belt, and you see what happened then. What happens then is something very profound. Now they resent and they blame and they hate. Cannot forgive because they have to be positive and they have to pull people light, pretend and people please. And inside they hate it. Doesn't feel right so they start hating it, resenting it, blaming it. And then they blame others.
because they are not negative. And now they are. Because they're keeping it in. I'm letting everything out. I'm not keeping it in. They are keeping it in. They are keeping it in, man. <laughs> you know what happens? They don't let it out. It burns them inside. And they resent, blame, hate. And they have to be positive. And they are so negative on the end. To themselves and others. It destroys them. They become mentally sick. And completely negative. Now they blame everyone. <sighs> because others are doing to them what doesn't feel right to them. People, are, they are doing it to others. They are pretending they love it. They are lying to themselves and to others. And more of them come because they never say no. They never show who they are and they are in their unconscious shadow. Completely negative, not blaming and hating everybody what they are doing to them. But they are smiling and have to be positive and pretending. And they are lying and deceiving everyone. They are lying and deceiving everyone. And that's why drama separation starts and conflict and karma. Because the energy is shrewd. The other one feels that you are lying and deceiving. It feels. And if you are not truthful and sincere, you are deceiving and lying to others, you don't love them. Because you don't love yourself. This shit, fake negativity movement is something very insane. It is it's pure satanism. Pure satanism is designed to make you blame yourself that you have to be positive, that you should not be negative, and you should not express yourself for who you are and say no to whatever it doesn't feel right to you and you are not doing to anyone and you don't want to do it to anyone but everyone else is doing it to everyone so it's right and you have to be positive so it's blaming you that you suffer for others that you go against yourself is blaming you that you are bad 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 if you are negative you have to be always positive you have to be always positive you have to be always positive is blaming you if you are negative <laughs> blaming you that you have to be Positive, positive, positive. Blaming you for who you are, for whatever doesn't feel right to you. It's not who you are. And like I have to stop the mind because I'm the Zen master, then I tell you I'm a Zen master, the answer is within you. When you don't say no to what doesn't feel right to you, you know, this is just what, what it is. It is what it is. It's just that. You are not truthful to, and sincere to yourself. You don't love yourself. Yeah. Your ego blames you for who you are. You are not good enough. So you're always going against yourself. It's guilt, guilt, original sin, blaming you for who you are. I should be positive. I should be like others. I should not express myself. I should not say no to what doesn't feel right to me. I should be positive and do what others do. Blaming you for being truthful and sincere. You have to be positive. Taking you in guilt that you blame yourself for who you are. So you remain in separation from yourself. For you never say to things that are not right to you. That are not right to you. <laughs> and you always remain in separation from self. You blame yourself that you are not positive. 
But you see, if I'm negative, I tell to others, don't do this to me, I don't do this to you. You are guest in my temple, I give you only peace and love, whatever I'm not doing to you, you're not doing to me, we are doing to, the entire world is doing to everyone, yes, it's a world of bad karma and suffering, you can see I'm a spiritual master free of that kind of things, truthful and sincere, you can do it to others, I'm never doing to you, I have no guilt being negative, and that's the power of negativity, power of negativity, you lose guilt, because you say no to whatever doesn't feel right to you, because your ego always blames you, that you are not good enough, that you should be like others, that this is bad, you should be positive, you should do good. When you do what feels right to you, you know, refreshing, refreshing, you say no to everything what is not you. You say no to everything what is not you. You get yourself back. You don't blame yourself for who you are. You lose your guilt. And that's the power of negativity. Because you have to be positive. You have to be positive. You have to be positive. It's designed that you blame yourself for how you feel. And when you can be negative with no guilt... Whatever feels negative within you, you express it, you write a book, you write about it, you express yourself, you let it out. You show yourself, this doesn't feel right to me. This is who I am. You see. And that's how it is. It's very beautiful. It's nothing else. And now you see some other thing. They have to be positive. They have to be positive. They should be always positive. But then they do one strange thing. They blame others that they are not positive, that they are negative. And pointing a finger, you are negative. You are negative. You should not be negative. They blame others for who they are. Completely. Blaming, very negative. Blaming, judging, controlling, trying to change. Completely negative. Forcing, resisting. Like that lady at the bio park. She told the lady how to sit and she didn't even know her. Her control and everything. And then blaming others. No, they are not positive. But they are being so negative that they are judging and blaming everyone who they think is not positive. But they are judging, blaming, controlling others. And even expecting, blaming when they don't get what they want. Always reminding you that you are not positive, that you should be negative. But they are controlling, blaming, violating, <sighs> judging. And they are so negative. So negative they are. Why? Because just like that lady said, just like that lady said, they can never bring their unconscious to consciousness because it is negative. Because it is negative and whatever is negative, they have to stay away from it. So they stay away from their guilt, from their fear. This doesn't exist. They go away from it. They go away from, uh, they go away from, you know what, I'll make some light. I always tell you, I always tell you that I like to smoke weed. I'm a Baba in India. I stopped smoking weed at 18 years ago. Then I didn't smoke for seven years. Then Master told me I can smoke and I fell in love in the goddess Mary Jane. It's no light, so I have to make some light, and I forgot to smoke this. Bom bole na dom, živo bom bole bom bom. Bom bole na dom, živo nam bom 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 bom. Judge me, because you have to be positive, and you judge weed. Hmm. 
judge me, you get blocked. We are very negative. Block you. I smoke like Ramakrishna did. Very much. Not much. No. That, that I lied. Not much. Hmm. What was I saying? I love you, Mary Jane. Yes. She never complains. I was saying that actually they always run away from that control, from that guilt, from that fear. Mm. From that everything what is unconscious within them. They always run away. They always run away. Always. Control, resistance, force, attachment, need, blame, jealousy, greed, fear, 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 guilt, guilt, guilt. They run away from it. They hide away from it. Because it is negative. Mm. And whatever is negative. Whatever is negative. It's negative And they have to stay away from it. Because, listen, they have to always be positive. Always they have to be positive. I don't give a fuck. I'm a very negative guy. If I have to be, you see, now I'm completely in darkness. Mm -hmm. Very dark already. What this means? That they always remain their guilt. They are very negative. They always blame themselves for who they are and blame others that they are not positive. They are always afraid of everything and themselves of who they are because they never bring their fear to consciousness. It's negative. They are controlling, resisting, forcing others, trying to change others because they never bring it to consciousness. It's negative. So they're doing it unconsciously. They don't even know it. Like this lady told to that lady what to do. And she didn't come to her class and commented on something. Hmm. Hmm. Bombo le shivo. Actually, this Shiva Baba smoke more in one take like I smoke in all day. That's the reality. And you see, they are always controlling others, always blaming, not Shiva Babas, but those fake negative. Shiva Babas, they are very negative. They chase you with a stick. They tell you, hey, unconscious ego, you're dropping on me, you Westerner, you get the fuck out of here. Ah, yeah, you, uh, Shiva will come and stab you with a trident. They are like this. Yeah. Hmm. But that unconscious fellows who are very negative, Hey, don't judge me, I'm high, I'm always like this, you know, I'm always crazy as that I am, I'm actually more crazy, more crazy, when I don't have my beautiful lady, Mary Jane, she, I love you, Mary Jane, she never complains, and my crazy state has nothing to do with her, with my love, mm -hmm. so you see, they always blame themselves. They always remain in that fear that fake negative guys and girls. They always blame others that they have to be positive. So they are very negative to themselves and they are not unconscious of their fears, of their guilt, of their control, resistance, attachments, blame, jealousy. They always remain in their shadow and unconsciously projecting their shadow at others. They always remain in separation from self. They have to be positive. So they blame themselves that they are negative. So they never express themselves for who they are. And never say no to things that are not them. They remain in separation from self. And like Zen Master says, under the lift, un under the sword, mm -hmm. under the sword lifted high. There is hell making you tremble underneath, but go ahead and you will find the land of bliss. <sighs> what I'm trying to tell you is that they remain unconscious of all the evil in the world. 
they are it's negative vaccines are negative so bad as to take them and not to know what is in them this is negative this is negative so the, this world can always control them because they are in fear they blaming themselves who they are afraid of everything they have to be positive and this world the matrix always controls them hmm They remain in separation from self. That's why that fake ne fake positivity movement is actually satanism. Blaming you for who you are. For how you feel. Blaming God for who you are. If you feel negative, I tell you something. Enlightenment, like Rumi said, do know that darkness and light are the dance of love. So what it means? It means that darkness and light are the dance of love. It means that I still don't have no electricity. It means that it means that darkness is the power. Hmm. What kind of a power is the darkness then, huh? Power that holds the light of the stars. Look. If there was not the darkness of the sky you would never see the light of the stars look hmm. what about that huh what about let me tell you one again if there would not be a dark sky you would never see the light of the stars so darkness is the power that holds the light holds your light holds your light they remain unconscious with the darkness. They never see the light. They blame themselves for who they are because they have to be always positive. You see, they can never be negative. They never see the light of the stars like you see it now. Hmm. Just because of the dark sky behind it. You see how beautiful it is. Pure Zen, baby. Pure Zen with a joint. Like Alan Watts with a cigar. You see, circle. You would not see the circle if they would not be. Actually, you don't see. But now you see. You see how beautiful is the darkness. It makes the light to shine. So it makes your light to shine. They are always controlling, blaming others. Always afraid of themselves. Afraid of their light. Blaming themselves for who they are. Others are controlling them. Uh, they're doing for others what doesn't feel right. They always remain in the darkness. There's no light. They never see the light of the stars. They never bring their unconscious to consciousness. But when you're mm -hmm, unconscious, it's brought to consciousness. Your darkness is brought to light. Your darkness is like a dark sky holding up your light. You don't control no one. You don't blame no one. You're not afraid of no one. You don't resist no one. You don't do to no one. Nothing unconsciously because darkness is not attacking you, blaming you and blaming no one. But it's holding your light. So when others want to control you, change you, they want you to do what doesn't feel right to you, blame you, make you afraid, your darkness stands for your light. And you say, I'm not doing this to you. You will not do this to me. I'll block your motherfucking ass, you stupid bitch ass. Punk ass motherfucker. I'll kick you down the stairs. I have 44 stairs. I'll throw you down like a motherfucker. What the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you projecting the mind? It is the cause of all the problems of this world. Unconscious shadow you projecting in this world. And don't worry. And you go and judge, judging me that I'm high. Mother, motherfucker, I always like this. If I would make this video, I would not smoke. You would not believe what kind of a negative shit I would say now. You know what the fuck you want? Yeah, I'm a slim shady. I can be a little bitch also. I love that motherfucker. He's truthful and sincere. And he is being negative. He realized that he's very sensitive he has a lot of negativity within himself and only way for him to be free is to express that shit out literally not literally but uh, art artistically is to get that negativity out so he doesn't keep it in and he's always kind of happy lately yeah 
Darkness holds your light when others want to control you, blame you, do to you what doesn't feel right to you. You don't blame yourself. You are not afraid of yourself. You are not controlling anyone, resisting, forcing. You are unconscious, unconscious. Your darkness holds your light. It stands for your light. And you say, don't do this to me. I'm not doing this to you. This is who I am. And this is not who I am. You're going to be taking this. You're coming here. I never come to you. You respect this, what you get here. Or it's a gift for you. I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me anything. But if you see anything valuable here, you gotta check yourself before you lose the word that I am. You never see one word that I am, then you know what the fuck you lost. Yeah, I am being negative as I choose to be. Hold your light. You just don't do any more what doesn't feel right to you. You say, I'm not sorry, my friend. This is not what I'm doing. I'm never asking you to do anything like this because it doesn't feel right to you. And whatever doesn't feel right to you, I would not expect from you. So just please accept that I'm not doing when somebody else is to do it for you. Then your friend, you can be negative. And when they attack you, then you're very negative. Motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. I'll kick you downstairs. You butt, I make your mama beat you, you know. I make your mama beat you, bitch ass punk. You know I will. I will. Get the fuck out of here now. And when somebody you love, you want something from you that you don't want to do, what happens then, huh, baby? What happens then? You say, beautifully, I'm sorry, my friend. I would never expect from you to do what doesn't feel right to you so what I do for you what doesn't feel right to me I love you if you love me you don't expect that's the power of negativity and if you are being fake you are being fake positive you blame yourself for being negative you're unconscious, always remain unconscious. You never are yourself. Just blame yourself for who you are. And you suffer in separation from self. Suffering, doing what doesn't feel right to you. Putting up with what doesn't feel right to you. Because you are not good enough. You have to blame yourself. You have to be positive. So fuck that positive motherfuckers. I'm very positive always. And when you're being negative, you let your negativity out. You're truthful and sincere. You're being positive. You're letting it out. You're not allowing it to destroy you. Or others to do to you what doesn't feel right to you. You're being very positive to yourself and others. You're teaching them that what doesn't feel right to others, they should not do. And they should not control, violate, blame anyone. And they should mind their own business. You're actually being very positive to them. You tell them, mind your own business. I'm minding my own business. Not negative. Go, find yourself. <sighs> beautiful, huh? Very beautiful. I give you my word. Very negative. Many times. You see my negativity. I go on. I make many posts. Very many posts. Many. Express. Because I'm so sensitive and I really feel the mind. I feel all unconscious causes of all the suffering in the world in the comments that come in my presence. And I have to express it. And then I feel okay. Free. I let it out. And I say no to everyone who wants something from me who is not. That is not me. Even to my friend on Facebook that wants to know where I am. I'm being a Zen master. I'm not doing anything that doesn't feel right to you. I'm saying no to me. I'm saying no to whatever doesn't feel right to me. I would never make you do what doesn't feel right to you. I'm very negative. And that's why I'm always positive. Truthful and sincere to you and myself. Much love. <sighs> Enough, huh? Pure Satanism, 
designed to blame yourself for how you feel. So you are never netty netty. Say no to what is not you. So you never source that I am. You always, your mind blaming you that you must be positive. Suffering, suffering, suffering. And that's why I give you my words. You can be fucking negative. But you know what it means to be fucking negative? To be fucking negative means that you never control, blame, oppose, violate anyone, force anyone, do to anyone what doesn't feel right to them and what you don't want to be done upon you and also what doesn't be f feel right to them and everyone can that do to you. But you're really not negative to others if they are not negative to you. You're positive like I am always. And when they are negative to me, I give them that negativity back. I reject it. Here you have your negative unconscious shadow. Bring it to consciousness. I'm not putting up with it. I'm not doing it. Ta -da 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 -da. You are not opposing anyone and controlling anyone, blaming anyone with your unconscious shadow. Because you are not blaming, controlling, attacking yourself. So no one can attack you, blame you. With their negativity, fake positivity. Four, you are conscious of your negativity. You brought it to consciousness. Your negativity is negative for you to be positive. Yeah. For you to be positive. So you can stop doing what you suffer in for those who just want something from you. And then you resent, you blame, and you're always doing what you suffer in, for you have to be positive. <sighs> you see, what is it? <laughs> you have to be positive. <laughs> what kind of stupidity it is? Always remain unconscious in separation from yourself. Pure Satanism, I tell you. Everybody blames you. Everybody controls you. You suffer for others. You suffer for others. You suffer for others. You have to be positive. 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 You become completely mentally sick. You suffer, suffer, suffer in separation from, from self. Your ego always blaming you for who you are. You will never say no to what is not you. You never get yourself back. Design for you to blame yourself. Design for you to always blame yourself for what is not you. You never reject it. And you have people in your life who do not love you. You don't know if they love you. Because you never said no to them. This doesn't feel right to me. If you love me, you don't want me to suffer for you because I don't want you to do for me what doesn't feel right to me. To you. I love you. I don't care how you feel. You don't love me. You just did not want to be positive. You reject me. And then you see that they don't love you and you get rid of them. And then you have people who are controlling you, want your energy, they don't love you. They only care for what they get, your energy. You don't know if they love you. You never said no to them. You have to be positive. They, for what you know till now, they only care for what they get. <laughs> I don't care for what I get only. I accept. Everything what is given to me, 
I never say to anyone, give me something. That's the difference. And everyone who gives, gives from the heart. Positivity, joy of their heart. Never blaming it, never controlling anyone. So whoever is giving me, loves me. I'm not controlling anyone. So I love everyone. I had to accept in my life people giving me things and then stopping it. Giving me love, stopping it. Giving me this and that and stopping it. Maybe some of you giving me this and that. You stop. What can I do? Not much. When others say no to me, or stop doing to me, what I love that they do, I feel sad. Sometimes I feel, okay, why you stop? I don't say anything. I know what others don't want to give. If I get them controlling and forcing, consuming their energy, so they blame themselves and give me. And I don't want no one to do this to me. I'm negative to no one. You see? And that's why when others want from me what doesn't feel right to me, and do to me what doesn't feel right to me, regardless how small or big it is, I can be very negative. For I control, oppose, expect things from no one. I may get beautiful things from people, and they stop. And they did these years. And I never ever said to anyone, why you stop giving me? No, I accept. That's why I can say no to everyone. Because I always had to accept no said to me. And I did. And that's why I accept everything that is given to me. You see, and this is important, that you don't do to others what doesn't feel right to you. To them, that you respect them. You don't expect and force and blame them. So you can be very negative for everything what doesn't feel right to you, because you don't do to others what doesn't feel right to them. You're not negative to them. You can be negative for yourself. When others want something from you, you feel negative, you say no. And that's the power of negativity. You see, the pure darkness. <sighs> and everyone controls you, blames you. Where you never brought your negativity. You have to be positive, you have to be positive. This is negative, so you should not look at it. You should not look at it. So you are never conscious of your unconscious, and you always remain unconscious of it. Huh? <laughs> Amazing. Then you always suffer. You blame yourself for who you are. You have to be positive. So everybody controlling you, blaming you. And you're doing for things that doesn't feel right to you. And that's why I give you my words. So we stop that. And we will stop this video because it is longer than one hour already. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's already completely dark, you see. That's why I give you my word. The enlightenment is union of darkness and light. Like I told you, this was a very long video. So... Like this. 
sweet dreams i will post this tomorrow because there is no electricity no electricity you see and thank you the answer is within you be truthful and sincere be negative when you feel negative but don't be negative to others who are not negative to to you express your negativity for yourself let it out so you don't keep it in artistically whatever you want just don't attack others with it and when others attack you when something doesn't feel right to you whatever it is say no be negative you will get your divine self back by saying no to everything what doesn't feel right to you you get yourself back because this is not you this you this is not me neti neti you present yourself i give you my word just for that say no be negative and if you like the word that I am, you are free to offer a donation to the art of the word that I am. It's not that you have to actually know. It's just for those who want to give out of joy of their heart because their heart wants to give out of joy and I accept everything. And what you receive from my heart, may you reach enlightenment. You use your darkness and light Make your po negativity support your positivity. Be whole and complete. <laughs> you don't get that. <laughs> I just blessed you. You have to do it yourself. You have to bring your unconscious to consciousness. You have to deal with your negativity. And let it out. Let it be. Don't run away from it. And everyone who give, offers me do donation... I don't say nothing. I'm a clairsentient quantum white light healer and I'm actually not. I'm not doing it by, by profession. I do it on the street and everyone who offers me a donation. I'm so clairsentient. Don't send me a message. Don't tell me anything. Your email address is enough. I connect with your being beyond time and space in quantum white light source healing. You don't need an appointment. You don't need to stand still. You just have my word. I'm going to do it. And this is, you have given me a donation for whatever you received in a video, the answer is within you, I don't have it. And this, my healing for you performed, is just, you given me energy that I appreciate so much. You keep the art of the word that I am going from the heart. You see, you see, you see. And I want to give you my best energy. And I'm healing on you. Ta-ta. Baba, Baba. It's just something extra I want to give. It's nothing you buy, nothing. It's just something I give you my word, gift I give to everyone. I don't say nothing. Don't say anything to me. Because if I don't know anything, I can focus on your pure being free of all afflictions. And my healing anyway works on you. I give you my best energy. My healing works on you as much as you work on yourself. Just as the word that I am. You find yourself. You heal yourself. If you are afraid of being negative, you blame yourself for being negative. You are pretending to be positive, lying to yourself and others. You remain in separation from self, controlled by the matrix, blaming yourself for who you are. No one can heal you and save you. My healing can only make you feel a little bit positive because inside you feel so negative. You're pretending to be positive. But if you tell to others, no, when something doesn't feel right to you, you express yourself and you express your negativity artistically and you dive deep into your shadows, which we have to do our next video, you know, I will not speak about this. This is complete chapter. Whew. So, let me end. And you heal yourself. If you Allow yourself to be negative. You bring your negativity to positivity, to consciousness. And you're free as I am. I give you my word only. For every donation healing is performed. For Namaste. Everybody, thank you for your love. For your joy. Thank you if you get the answer within you. I don't have it. But you have it. So, get the answer within you. I give you my word. All I do. Everyone. I'll never be negative to you unless you
project your mind something that doesn't feel right to me so you see I'm never being negative to you I love you don't allow others to be negative to you I teach you to say no to everything what feels negative to you be negative and express your negative so you don't keep it in and you can heal everything and let it out what is not you and say no to everything what is not you so you can be you poor namaste and I believe damn it's not one hour yet all it is I don't see without glasses anyway poor namaste Answer is within you. Be negative, but not to others. Express your negativity, and what is a negative to you? Then be negative. Poor namaste. Get yourself back by saying no to everything what is not you. Bye bye.